Body mass index and body composition are two ways to measure how healthy you are. But UNC senior Candace Howe says your results might not be what you expect. So I was kind of surprised at first. I didn't think I was like worried, like, wait, am I doing something wrong? Howe's body mass index, also known as BMI, categorizes her as being a normal size, but that's based only on height and weight. Graduate assistant of the Functional Movement and Fitness Center Jordan Lee knows BMI can leave out important details body composition tests reveal. The skin fold tests, which you're, you're kind of grabbing a section of skin um, to see how much skin and fat are, are in that area of the body. But for the handheld bioelectrical impedance, that it's a little device that you hold your arms out straight and there's a current that's sent through your body. These body composition tests show the percent of fat in your body compared to everything else like your muscles and bones and gives you ideal goals based on age. While BMI simply tells you if you're obese, underweight or somewhere in between. So body composition is much more helpful in that respect because you get to see the actual values. Howes' body composition of 24.9% body fat is a value she didn't know was poor. A good range for women in their 20s is between 17.3 and 19.4%. But remember, her BMI put her in a normal weight category, failing to consider what type of weight she's made of. So when someone says that they lose weight, you have to determine what type of weight did they lose. Is it good weight that they lost, bad weight that they lost? Something BMI can't tell you, but body composition tests can. Your body can tell you a lot of different things depending on what you're looking at, so you kind of have to always evaluate yourself from like a bigger perspective and not just look at one thing. And looking from a bigger perspective, always consider multiple health assessment tests so you'll know how healthy you actually are because BMI can't give you as full of an evaluation as body composition tests can. In Chapel Hill, I'm Alexis Simmons reporting.